hi guys welcome back to my channel um so today i wanted to go ahead and give you guys my weight update number four sorry i'm so a little behind on this i'm gonna try to post these on wednesdays it seems to be like the easiest day for me to just sit down gather my thoughts see kind of how i'm progressing get all the information for you guys so i'm gonna try my best to post these on wednesdays for you um thursday's the latest i want to try these are also holding me accountable so if you like to watch them great it's also helping me as well my journey to say hey you have to post this you have to keep it going you can't like slim down and if you do you have to any up to it so i just want to go ahead and tell you how the previous week has gone um in my last update i told you guys that i was starting weight watchers and i did officially start that and it has been going pretty well um you guys know i was not really eating dinners i was just intermittent fasting and fasting at night and on Weight Watchers, I decided to just follow everything and start incorporating, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all my meals, getting in my points. Um, when I took the quiz and talked to my rep or coach, whatever you call it, um, they told me that I would be on the WW Green Plan. So basically, every plan is different for your body, your goals, your macros, um, and I can only have 23 points a day. So typically how I do my Weight Watchers, what works best for me is I have the app on my phone. I have the digital app and it has a search bar for every single food. There's a barcode. So if you're in the grocery store, this is how I shop for my groceries this week is I was scanning each barcode and it was telling you the serving size that you can have, how many points it is and all the macros. So you have that information on hand. Um, there's a bunch of recipes on there. It tells you what points are zero point, like what foods are zero points, um, which is super helpful. It's like a lot of fruits and vegetables for me. Um, like salsa, I didn't know was a zero point food and it is, and that's how it calculated it for me. So it was super awesome having that on hand, but I can only have 23 points a day, which was pretty convenient um when you think about okay you can only have 23 points a day you think that's really low but actually i had like a remaining one to three points depending on what my dinner was or what my breakfast was left today so it was really convenient and i didn't go hungry um at all this week though i did only lose a pound and a half not gonna lie <laughs> Um, and I think it's just because my body, I wasn't eating dinners for two weeks, you guys. I wasn't eating, um, a meal at night before bed. I was just literally stopped eating at four o'clock, I would say. And I was just drinking water the rest of the day. And now I was eating dinner at six o'clock and my body was like that. I'm not used to this. So, um, I didn't lose one, like as many as I have in the past couple weeks. And that's okay if you don't lose every single digit on the scale every single day, I don't think that would definitely be healthy. Um, from what I've seen, I came across a video that it was a man saying, Hey, don't look at the numbers on your scale. If you're losing inches and everything that counts to you're doing it right. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Stop focusing on that number. The numbers are good, but Hey, stop focusing on that because stress can also not make you lose if you're stressing about that number constantly it can definitely take you off your track um and i've been just losing inches still more which is great so i haven't been harping on that number too too much um i have been working out more if you are in weight watchers and you get the app and you have the digital um the app on i have an iphone so i'm not sure if it's for androids but the app fit on um, syncs to Weight Watchers. So if you work out and do a class on that, you know, app, it will track it with your Weight Watchers, all your calories, how well you did it, everything. And you can earn points, which I think was really cool. Um, I did try it and it was kind of awesome. Um, but yeah, Weight Watchers tracks it's what you had for breakfast, what you had for lunch, dinner, snacks, water, um, exercise, sleep even. So it kind of does the whole thing as well. And you can do workshops every single week. They have a different workshops on a different topic. And right now they're doing them all virtually. So it's kind of like you just zoom into a class and one of the coaches speaks about the topic of the week. Um, I used to do them and I have not gotten back to the workshops just yet. I'm just stepping my feet back into it, but it was really nice. Another thing that helped me was Ryan and I went on date night and we went out to our favorite restaurant, which is Chili's. And on the Weight Watchers app, they have a tab where you click called restaurants and you can type in the name of your restaurant. They pretty much have every single one. 
um, that's popular over every state. Um, there are a few missing here and there, but like Chili's is on there and it has the whole Chili's menu calculated with how many points, what's what, everything individually. So when I was ordering, it was super nice because I was just looking and scrolling to see what I could fit throughout the day and I was just trying to plan ahead. So that is really nice and beneficial. Um, and also just looking at the calories and seeing how many you're eating today, see, you know, how much protein you're getting in, how much sugar, how much fat, how much carbs. Another thing I learned this week is carbs are good. So don't feel like you need to cut out carbs all the way. You do need carbs to help fuel your body to burn that off. Um, I'm now realizing I'm still learning, um, but you do need carbs. So don't cut carbs out entirely because they're not all so bad. Um, just try to do the best you can. I would say but yeah week one went pretty well on Weight Watchers I'm gonna try it out for the next couple weeks my goal is a month and a half I do have a free trial again right now um, my plan is $50 a month so I'm still gonna go on my free trial see how I like it um, but I'm at least gonna try it out for a month let you guys know how I'm going how what I'm doing um, I can still track my weight on the app as well it does a graph which helps me out so weight update number four is complete we did really good a pound and a half is not what i was expecting but again from looking at the week and how i transitioned from majorly fasting to weight watchers i can kind of tell why it's not a drastic change um also this week i did start drinking two hydro drugs a day i've talked about the hydro drugs so much i feel like i'm annoying it but Seriously, it's the best thing ever. I got my family on it. I love my hydro jug, but I started drinking at least two of them a day, getting your water intake, water, 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 super important. And that has actually helped me so much as well. It's kept me awake. Normally, I wanna say like around two o'clock or something, I'm getting super tired and I'm draining. But if I'm drinking my two hydro jugs a day, it's actually keeping me awake and keeping myself together. Um, I do have to pee a lot, <laughs> which is the horrible part, but it's actually really helpful. And I'm, you know, starting at eight o'clock drinking my water and I'm ending around, I wanna say 9, 30, 10. I kind of go to bed at 11. So um, I do end it a bit wait, late, but the water is helping. Also, don't worry about water weight. If you are drinking your water, there is something that can happen, but try not to focus too much on the water weight that is expected because you're fueling your body with liquid. So of course it's gonna add up more and more. The more you drink, the more it's gonna add up, but you have to let your body digest. That's one of my biggest problems. If Ryan was here, I could ask him if he would say, that is my struggle is I always never wanna let my body digest. I always wanna know, okay, what do I weigh now? What do I weigh now? Back, I wanna say, I want to say last May. Yeah, last May I had really, really bad eating habits to where, and I'm talking you guys like extreme cases to where Ryan was actually worried about me. I would take my scale to work, to home, to restaurants. Let me repeat that. To restaurants because after I ate everything, I wanted to see how much I weighed before my meal and after. And I wanted to see what each food would do to my body. And I wanted to see, you know, every hour I was checking and it wasn't healthy at all. And I don't recommend doing that. Um, definitely can get in your head. It's definitely not okay mentally for you to do that. Like I remember he would be so embarrassed. We would go out to a restaurant and I would have a huge purse and you know, girls have carry big purses, but I would have my scale on my bag and I would go to the bathroom and feel like people would saw and it was just not a good thing. So I used to be like that and now I'm just seeing that, you know what, if I'm drinking my water, of course the number's gonna go up. That's okay. I gotta let my body sit. I gotta let the foods digest. I gotta let my body do its thing. And if I'm focusing on what I'm supposed to be doing right, then it will go as planned. But if I continuously just eat, eat, eat junk food, especially and not go with my plan and just go all willy nilly, then it's not gonna go as planned. And of course the number's gonna go up. So main goal of this week with my mini ramp is to not focus on the number and to just stick with your plan, do what you're gonna do. Your body will tell you how it's going. Don't stress, it will be okay. 
I am on week two of Weight Watchers, so I will let you know how it's going, but that is going to be my weight update number four for this week. Again, I'm going to try to post these on Wednesdays, so I will try to be back next Wednesday or sooner with my weight update number five, and I'll see you guys then. Love ya.